Hey guys, it's summer, and I'm very, very sorry for those of you who, I don't know, maybe have lost sleep because it's now the middle of May, and I never did an April favorites. And I don't want you guys to be like sleepless in whatever city you're in. So I'm here, and I'm gonna make this video. And now tonight, you're going to sleep better than you ever have. You're welcome. Today, it's kind of a random, eclectic grouping of things. Oh my gosh, I have like nearly all beauty things for the month of May. And one of those products is something I've actually been using for a long time. And this company reached out to me and asked if I might be interested in like working with them as a, on a spokesperson level. So that's kind of exciting. Once we get more details, girls, we'll be telling you. The first favorite, you guys are gonna be like, what is she thinking? But just, just go with me here because the banana clip is coming back. I just have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of these on the runway. I found mine at Claire's, if you can just get a close up of that right there. And it just, creates the most beautiful ponytail that is long. Like, I did an article for She Knows on the three easy alternatives to the mom ponytail. I'll link that, that article below and you can see pictures. But it just leaves, like your hair, it's kind of like a faux hawk, you know? Oh, no. I'm into it. This was like a favorite of the find of April. And I don't care what anybody says. They're cool. They're coming back. You saw it here first. The next thing that I really loved is this BB cream, the Garnier BB cream. And I know for a very long time I was really consistent with the L'Oreal one, but with it getting warmer and me just being outside more, I really felt that I needed something with sunscreen in it. And when I was in the Dominican, I didn't wear any makeup except for this. I felt like it just gave me good coverage. Like I didn't look red or blotchy and it protected my skin. I just felt like it was really, really such a great product. And I got a lot of compliments on how my skin looked in some of the pictures. And this was it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this was it. it. Wasn't this, it was this. One that I choose for my skin is the oily, or combination to oily skin, light to medium, and yeah, I think it's good. In addition to that, sometimes I feel as though I need a little something more for my pores, and every once in a while, I can just see them here. And this is when the pore professional comes into play. And this is my benefit, and I will just put it on after my moisturizer in the spots that I feel like need a little extra filling. It's oil-free, which, you know, I'm not afraid of oils, because if you use the good oils, it's actually good for your skin. Well, we can talk about that another time. If you have pores and you're just, where do I go? This is where you go. You go to the professional. Professional makes everything better. Or you can actually fix your pores, which, you know, we can talk about it later too. The last skincare product I loved for the month of April, and I'm using still this month, is the simple cleaning or cleansing wipes. And these um, are for sensitive skin. They're actually made by the sensitive skin experts. Did you know that simple was the sensitive skincare experts? They are. But there's no alcohol in them. That is good. No perfume or dye is also very good. And it removes waterproof mascara. Kind of, but not really. It says it does, but it didn't work for my waterproof mascara, so just so you know. I do use my Mary Kay. If I ever wear eye makeup, I will use these to remove my eye makeup before I wash my face. And I have to have oil-free wipes because of my lash extensions. So these have been good. They remove the makeup really well, and they don't take off my eyelashes, so bonus. And they're actually like pretty affordable. And then for makeup, this eyeliner has changed my smoky eye life. It is by NYX, NYX, 
and it's the Bronze Shimmer 932. I got mine in Ulta. It's, it's basically what the name of the pencil says. It's a bronze shimmer. And I will put it underneath my eye lashes here just to kind of give it that bronzy, goldeny, smoky eye without black because it's all, it's spring. And I feel weird putting black eyeliner all around my eyes in the spring. It's just a, it's just, just how I am. It's so pretty. What more can I say about it other than you need to go buy it? It's so affordable. It's NYX. You will love it. You will die for all of you people who love when I do my Rachel Zoe impressions. My other favorite makeup product for this month is not a new product, but it's new this month. I took a break from it and I'm wearing it actually right now. It's also by NYX. And it is their matte lipstick. And this one is shocking pink. And you guys, it really is pretty shocking. It's a shocking pink. I really like it. I think it's a fun spring color if you're not afraid of bright colors. It really does stay on. It's almost like a lip stain. So even when you take it off, your lips will still have a little stain of pink, which is so pretty, especially in the morning when you have to run out the door. I don't have anything on my lips. Oh, but you do. You do. You have a little bit left over. And speaking of pink, kind of liking pink on my face. I've talked about this before, but I feel like I should bring it up every month because every month it's my favorite. Elf, this is two or three dollars at Target. It's the Pink Passion. And I will just confirm what everybody else has said that Elf, this Elf blush stays on really well, goes on really well. This color is beautiful. This is just a good blush and you can't go wrong for $3. You just can't. You just, that's, you can't. Now, there's been a couple things non-beauty related that I have really loved. This is gonna be kind of weird. Actually, it's not weird. It's my Bible. Um, I got myself a new Bible, first of all. This is my Bible cover because I get tired of holding it at church. And so um, I wanted something with handles. So I got this from like eBay, but this was a while ago. I needed a new Bible because I felt like I had a lot of questions sometimes when I was reading my previous Bible, which was life application. That's what it was. And that was good, but I just had questions about some of the things I was reading and I wanted answers. And so I did a lot of research on Bibles and I went with the John MacArthur Study Bible, and I love it. Oh my gosh, do I love it. Like, this will be the Bible I use till the day I die. I will never need another Bible. But I wanted to, like, take good care of it, and I didn't want things to bleed onto other pages. So I went on Amazon, and did you know, I never knew this, they actually have pens just for your Bible so that it's a fine tip and it won't bleed through your pages. And so they have them and I bought one and it's the Millie Pen, M-I-L-L-I-P-E-N. Then the last favorite for the month of April, I do you want to tell you that about my favorite book? Besides The Circle Maker, which we already talked about, this is the book. It's called Kisses from Katie. And it, I mean, I couldn't stop reading it. And I actually had to pray through my heart a little bit when I was reading it because I had so much kind of envy. Like, oh, I just wish I could do that. I wish I could just get up and go and like take my family and just move and, and do what she's doing. It's just so good. Like, you guys have to read this book. After I got back from the Dominican, I had so many people tell me that I needed to read it. And so I bought it on my Kindle and read it like literally in three days. I don't want to tell you too much, actually because I need you to just read it and then we can talk about it. I miss Sarah, by the way, and a lot of you guys have asked about her and if we're still friends, and of course we're still friends, you know? It just, YouTube wasn't her thing. We're still friends, our daughters are still friends, we still wanna have tea dates. We're just not gonna have the camera involved anymore. Lucky girl, every single day. If you wouldn't mind, but then after you subscribe, will you leave a comment and just tell me what you really, really loved in April? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!